I'm Ms. Ziegler, and in this video, we will be talking about how to use Google Suite to incorporate small group learning during distance learning, which most of us are doing right now. You will also have the option of checking in with your class via Microsoft Teams or Skype or Zoom or whatever you're specifically using in your district. In the coming weeks, I will be posting more tech tutorials to help you while we're distance learning. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Let's hop on over to the computer and get started. First, you want to create your assignment for each one of the teams. You need to go to your Google Drive. I usually create a folder with whatever the assignment is so that it's easy to find. And I made mine in a teacher tech folder, just for example purposes. So create a folder. This is the assignment that I put in here. I'm going to have them make a timeline. You can incorporate you know, whatever activity that you want. You can insert another PowerPoint. This one I just typed up real quick. Each team is going to make the timeline. Here's the different events, and then here's the timeline that they're going to be making it on. So this is the main template. What I want to do is make copies of this for the teams that are gonna be using this. So if you go to your assignment, after you've created it, and then say make a copy, I'm going to call this one team one period one. If you wanna put the names of the students in here, that's fine. Click on share in order to get that link and then you're going to click on more and I'm gonna allow anyone with the link just in case they're not in their HISD email and then I'm going to say can edit. So press save. Now you could put in their email addresses here and send them the link if you want. Uh, that probably would be just as fast because their names would come up. So let's say I want to send this to Misty. Her name is going to come up and then you can just send it. That's how I would do it quickly is type in the name of the student in this team and then press send. Then when you talk to them in class, you can say go to your email and the link that I sent you is the one that I want you to use. So this is team one and then I would go and make another one for each one of the teams. So if I have four teams in my class period, you keep copying until you have enough for each one of your teams. This will make a separate assignment for each team. Just make sure and label them so that you know because otherwise it can get kind of confusing. So for period one, I have three teams and I've already sent out and shared with the students. For multiple periods to keep this organized, what I would do is make a folder and call this period one and then throw all of the assignments for period one into the period one folder. That way it's simple and you can figure it out very quickly. So you just would highlight these and throw them into period one. Then I go back to the class video and I tell them, today we're going to work in small groups to do a timeline activity, log into your school email, and you will find a link to your team Google slide. When you do that, make a comment with your name and your favorite color, or give them some kind of prompt so that they will introduce themselves when they get into their team. And then I could keep them on teams with the whole class video, as well as I can go in here and see who is logging in. Here is the chat right up here. They might not be familiar with this if they've never used it before, but you can just share your screen and show them that here is the chat. And so I might comment on here and say, uh, great job. Make sure you say hello with your favorite color. and then press comment, and then they'll be able to see that. Then when you switch to a different slide, if you click on chat, this will always stay on there unless they resolve, which gets rid of it, or reply to it. So that's kind of cool. It will also allow them to add a separate comment if they don't want to reply to this if it's, if it's different. When they're in here, what they can do is they can each highlight and say, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. So then they can put their name beside that. Because Google Slides is collaborative, they can work on this all at the same time. So I would instruct them through the Teams class video, 
Now I want you to divide up the events and start working on your timeline. Don't forget the directions are on the first slide. And so as they're working, I can pop in and see how they're doing. Let's say that team one is doing well and they're working hard. I'm going to go over to team two and check on them. If they're not putting stuff into the document, I might simply comment, hey guys, how are we doing? Are you finding your information? Something like that. And the whole time you can still be on the Microsoft Teams video if students have quick questions that they want to ask you, but this way you can monitor that they're actually working. Then when they're finished, they simply can tell you, hey, we're finished with ours, will you check it over? You can pop in here and check over what they got and say, oh, you know, looking good, but you're missing a picture for this event or you're missing this. And then they can go back and edit it and work on it some more. That can all be done within your class period. Now, what I would suggest is possibly an exit ticket at the end of this. Maybe I could add in a slide here and give them a link to whatever I want to use for the exit ticket. And we will have some more videos about different technology that you can use for exit tickets in the coming future. That is how to do collaborative group work with Google Slides. You could also do it with a Google Doc if you would rather it be done that way. You could do it with Google Drawings. Any of the Google Suite will work with the same strategy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, email me at jkwezi at houstonisd.org.